Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today's video is just going to be a basic installing the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. That's what I've got right here. I have two affiliate links. Check those out in the description. So I've got Pro XPN and I got TubeBuddy. Both of them will help me out if you uh, decide to click on them and uh, give them a try. Alright, so let's get on to the install. Okay, so we've got our Ryzen 5 2600 here. I've got my test bench with my motherboard on it from the last video, in case you're interested. So getting it out of the box. Okay, it comes in a little package like this. And the actual CPU comes in a little small box, just like that. And of course, as your little sticker, if you want to put that on your case. So that's all there is. You've got the cooler here, the uh, Wraith cooler, and you've got your CPU. So getting the rest of it out of the box, you've just got the cover here. Okay, and we're just going to lift it up. Now, you'll see it comes pre-applied with thermal paste. Nice even spread. And you can see you got your little screws so those are going to go on your motherboard, just like I want to show you. So the first thing you want to look for is a little triangle. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's right down here. See that little triangle just kind of sticks out away from it? Okay, that tells you where your triangle on your CPU is going to go. So now when you look at your CPU, you can see that triangle. Now make sure you hold it by the edges, okay? Don't touch anything here. And all you're simply going to do is release this mechanism here. Okay, just pull it out. Hold out, lift it up, and you're going to set this one inside. So just gently place it in there, and it'll just pop on down, and then that's it. So now you can take this same bar, push it back down, push it underneath, make sure it goes underneath this little tab, and that's all to putting your CPU in. So once you've got it underneath that tab, that's all there is to it. So just make sure this arm goes underneath this little tab right here. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the four screws, both sides, and you're going to take these little brackets off. Okay, so once you've got those screws out, as you can see, it just comes loose, and you just take it off, and you do the same thing on the other side. But what you can see now is you've got your uh, where your screws are going to go into on your board. So these are just going to screw into these on this side, same on the other side once you take that bracket off. And it's going to go on pretty simple. And that came out, so we're just going to lift it off. Now, I don't know if you noticed just now, you see your four little um, things you're going to put your screws into? It popped down. Now, sometimes there's an adhesive on this that holds it to the motherboard, and sometimes not. So I'm going to show you what happens if that takes place. So being on a test bed, all I did is reach my hand underneath, and I lifted it back up so you can see that. Okay, so now while I hold it, I'm going to align this with those four screws. Now, if I was to let go, that would uh, fall back down. So first thing I'm going to do is secure it to the board. Now, when I put those on, I had to secure them a little bit. Um, one side is always going to be a little bit more off than the other. So I'm just going to bring this up. You can see that a little bit better. And all I'm doing is tightening the screw. So there's one more here. And again, I'm going to put my hand underneath under here. And hold that up. And that's going to be the same as if it was on the back plate of your motherboard. Just to hold it in place. So all you do is make sure you tighten each corner. Double check it. It will only tighten a little bit. Double check, make sure they're tightened down. Once it stops, that's pretty much it. Do that for all four corners. And with that, you're done. And the only thing left is take this, which is a four pin, find your CPU pin on your motherboard, and then just plug it in. On this motherboard, I'll show you where that's at. 
So a couple of things to point out. If you can look here, you can see where one says CPU fan, which is going to be the white one right here on the edge. And the CPU optional is the other fan. So you can use that as just a normal system fan. So we're just going to plug it in to the white one here. Take your little notch, make sure that goes down with the little notch that's on the outside here, and just plug it in. And it just goes in like that. Now you can tuck that cable out of the way. You can just move it out of the way. You can twist tie it again later on. Now remember I did say the thermal paste was pre-applied. So once you put this down, everything is good to go. There's no LED on this fan whatsoever. But it is a, a good fan. It'll keep respectable temperatures. If you're going to overclock, then I suggest switching it up and either using a water cooler or a really good air cooler. And if you want to see that, I did a video on that earlier as well, so you can go back and have a look at it. So just in case anybody was interested, inside this little box, other than your sticker, you've got your little installation manual. So if you're ever curious of how to do it, you get your certificate of authenticity, and in here it has detailed instructions on how to put everything together. As I like to do, I like to give you a little bit of uh, information on it. So again, it's a Ryzen 5 2600. It is a 6-core, 12-thread processor that will get up to 3.9 gigahertz max boost with a base of 3.4 gigahertz. You will need a discrete graphics card with this CPU because it does not have um, built-in graphics on this particular model. Okay, so getting this onto the uh, our test bench, uh, I can show you the voltages. Okay. And then you look further down, you see the temperature running at right now at 28 degrees, which is pretty good for a standard uh, cooler. Uh, fan uh, CPU is running at 1250 RPM to a max of 1544. Now there's no fans, simply because it's not in a case, it's on my test bench. And the Ryzen 5 2600 voltages, you can see down below that. And the temperature back each node is at 27 degrees Celsius. And of course you see the cores all doing their thing down below. And we'll just scroll down a little more. And you can see the CPU utilization clocks, which of course is not very much because there's nothing really going on. I hope that uh, tells you what you need to know. All right, everybody. So that's it. If you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Think about subscribing. Hit that bell for future notifications. And basically what I did, and you can see here, I got my uh, test bench. Everything's fired up on it, running. Installed everything you, you use for the drivers and all this stuff for Aurora's uh, on the DVD. This is an external DVD drive. And that was it allowed me to show you all the uh, temperatures, all that kind of good stuff. So if you liked the video, like I say, hit that like. Think about clicking on the uh, affiliate links that I have. It helps me out a ton. Pro XPN is uh, the one that helped me out the most. I get a nice kickback from them if uh, anybody clicks on the link. Hasn't happened so far, but there's always a first. There's a 30-day free trial. There's a 50% off code in the description. So it's it's not a whole lot to, to pay. Uh, a normal premium is like $6.25 a month. You'll get it for like three something. So, you know, it's pretty cheap considering like, You'll waste that on other stuff most of the time anyway. So if you want to help me out, go ahead and give that a try. Thank you for watching. As always, you're fantastic. I appreciate all your support. Thanks for tuning in and watching.